the tunnel's entrance is located on an artificial island. Martin Herrenknecht is here to see how construction is progressing. He soon finds himself 50 meters below sea level. Work on this section in the South China Sea is almost complete. The tunnel will connect Hong Kong Airport with the new territories. Most of the work is done by a tunnel boring machine. It's the largest machine of its kind in the world. It has a diameter of 17.6 meters and we used it for the first 1.2 kilometers. It's fascinating when you think that we're drilling a road tunnel. Then we downsize to 14 meter diameter machines, have to create an artificial island to assemble the machine on. The machine weighs almost 3,000 tons. That's gigantic. The construction project would not have been possible without Herrenknecht's tunnel driller. Engineers spent two years developing it. But Germany is only supplying the parts. The project itself is a Chinese-French joint venture. The potential for complications is enormous. The main risk we have for the weather, uh, from the weather, except the uh, flooding risk, is, uh, is uh, all the transportation. Because our uh, prefabricated uh, segments come all from China, 1,600 kilometers away. And uh, if the sea is rough or there is a typhoon, the boats cannot come. Several lanes of traffic will run through these shafts. The tunnel's costing 1.8 billion euros. It's one of the largest infrastructure projects currently underway in Hong Kong, alongside a metro system extension. With a population of more than 7 million and the island's British traditions, Hong Kong is an ideal base to do business with southern China. There are few market restrictions, and everyone has a right to invest there. Things are not so welcoming on the mainland, though, where German companies are primarily in demand as suppliers or joint venture partners. China is known to keep tighter control over projects, a source of annoyance for German companies. In early November, the Asia-Pacific Conference of German Business met in Hong Kong. More than a thousand executives and representatives of small and mid-sized businesses were there. Germany's economics minister supports their calls for better market access. We've been calling for a level playing field for years, to negotiate on the same level and deal with each other as equals. But we still face restrictions when it comes to permits in many regions. German companies are only allowed to hold a minority stake or we're forced into joint ventures we don't want. Martin Herrenknecht isn't having any problems with his Chinese venture. His main focus is on doing a good job. Precision is everything. You have to run the machines very accurately to get to the right location, down to the last millimeter. The machine emerged last week, and we're turning it around for the next crosscut. These are the technologies we're working with here. The entrepreneur is certain no other company has the ability to make these machines. As a trained engineer, he knows what to look for and appreciate. And look how tight it is. Absolute water tight. This project relies on international cooperation. We really have a partnering a relationship because to develop such machines and the techniques we're using it, we have here we have to do it together right at the beginning of the project. Good morning. Good morning. Huh? Good? In good shape? Yeah. Everybody? Herrenknecht is hoping to continue working on tunnels in the future. Such projects are huge undertakings. Multi-level tunnels could be a particular challenge. We can go down, build, let's say, a combination street tunnel with railway underneath, a combination in this diameter, 18 meter. You also could have three-line road tunnel and underneath the metro. So we will go more in multi-purpose tunnel with the sewage, telecommunication, internet, all integrated. Martin Herrenknecht knows his company needs to keep innovating to stay competitive. He's hoping to build many tunnels in China and says he's happy to team up with other partners to get the job done.